I'm going to share one last story with you and I'm going to call it good. So, okay. um, so I sent you a picture of this guy, I put pops on there. Yep. So, um, so that, that's my, he's my granddad. He's actually, he's my, he's my step granddad, but he's the only granddad I know because when I was born, him and my grandma were already married. Okay. So, um, so pops back in 2020, he was the oldest living world war II veteran. So he was on the cover of, the, of this time magazine. My, um, my granddaughter saw the magazine at our house and she goes and reads it. And, hey, you know, who is this? And what's going on with this guy? And tell them to go, hey, go, go ask your, your own mom. And so Dana said, oh, that's your, you know, that, that's your grand, that's your great granddad. And she's like, I don't, I don't understand. Mm-hmm. And then fast forward, we go, we go to see pop in New Orleans in August of 2020. So it's during COVID and all that stuff. It's really so our granddaughter can interact with them. He's he's a hundred years older than she is. And, you know, when they have this this conversation and we record them or her talking to him and it, it'll it, it'll build me the rest of my life. What he told her, because at the time I wasn't even in the mindset to think this is what he would say. But she asked him what um what advice would you give a person my age? You know, so so a hundred and and ten year old man. Yeah. What advice would you give me a, a ten year old girl? And all he said was be nice to people. And I'm talking, and, I, I, and when he said it, I'm like, man, something so doggone simple, be nice to people. But he's talking about be nice to people because he was born in you know, 1909. Right. You know, so, so that has a whole different perspective and meaning to him when he says be nice to people. So, you know, so I took the opportunity once we got back to Texas and I talked to her. I said, let me tell you what that really means for him when he says be nice to people. And he, even for me, that gave me a different perspective on, on what, you know, what being nice really means. Mm-hmm. You know, if I if I sit here and, and whine about I'm struggling right now or things aren't right, you know, this is so bad. If I go back, you know, to that point, then not only were things, you know, bad and terrible, he couldn't do anything to change it. Right. It was just it was how it day. Hey, this is how it is. You, you got to live like this until, you know, things change, you know, along the way. But that and that, that so out of, you know, a 110 year old guy, that's what he had. That's the advice he gives her. Be nice to people. Just be nice to people. Man, that's so that's so powerful. I mean, because, I mean, in, in his life a lot of people were probably not nice to him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if yeah. You're in, like sure. and not, and that's kind of like understating it. You know what I yeah. mean? He, he is, he lived through all those times when it was really rough. And, uh, and it, it's that something so simple can be so powerful though. You yeah. know, just, just be nice to people. That's all you gotta, I love that story.